Seven sixes are forty-three. I was told this was a nihilistic, pessimistic book. It is not. It reminded me of a line from The Little Prince. What makes the desert beautiful, the little prince said, is that it hides a well somewhere. Yes, it is a book about hardships, about poverty, illness, suffering, death, about love and the hurt it comes wrapped in. Or is it all the hurt it wraps around? But it never gives up on life. This is where Kiran Nagarkar started. To me, it felt like he has taken over from where Ernest Hemingway left off. But man is not made for defeat. A man can be destroyed but not defeated. But then, what other option does one have? One has to be not defeated, and one has to keep moving on. Or should I say, keep cycling on? What is life but a bunch of routines that we just cycle through? I was wondering if I had read this before I read William Burroughs. Would his routines have still hit me as hard? Routines. The hero of Seven Sixes are 43. Just keep cycling through the same routines, with some variations, like all of us, I guess. Or at least, most of us. The unexamined life is not worth living, said Socrates. And examining the life we may find that it indeed is not worth living as Samuel Beckett's Murphy does. But Nagarkar's hero doesn't care. He examines, and he moves on without passing judgment. Why bother with judgment? We examine the world and find out that the sun mostly rises in the east, most of the days, in most of the places. So, is there a need to judge it? The same is true of life, is it not? Getting back to routines. The breaking of routines is not a good thing, is it? The breaking of routines is depression, isn't it? Well, sometimes depression itself becomes a part of the routine, and then breaking the routine becomes a good thing. Does it not? I was living in Bengaluru when my ex called me to ask for advice. She was allegedly having a hard time picking between two boys who had proposed marriage to her. I gave her the advice. I suppose it was in line with what she wanted to do because she did what I had advised, and that is when my routine broke. It cracked open. A new routine took its place. This new routine lasted for about six months, for three of which I hardly stepped out of the apartment I was living in. I felt good when the earlier routines returned, with some variations. But this breaking up of routines became a part of my routine, and it took... what? eight years, to break that routine. I guess it is broken now. Seven sixes are forty-three feels like those many breakings and reformings. It made me smile. Kiranagarkar does find comedy everywhere, a must-read.